Hi and welcome to the part 1 of video on networking interview questions and answers from careerright.com. Question number 1. Tell us something about DES. DES, Data Encryption Standard, is a symmetric key block cipher which takes 64 bit plain text and 56 bit key as an input and produces 64 bit cipher text as output. The DES function is made up of P and S boxes. P boxes transpose bits and S boxes substitute bits to generate a cipher. What are the strengths and weaknesses of DES? The strength of DES lies in two facts. One, encryption uses 56 bit keys. This makes 256 possible keys. A brute force attack on such number of keys is impractical. Second, the nature of algorithm. Cryptanalyst can perform correct analysis by exploiting the characteristics of DES algorithm, but no one has succeeded in finding out the weakness. Weakness of DES lies in the design of the cipher. Two chosen inputs to an S box can create the same output. What do you understand by denial of service? How would you prevent it? The function of a denial of service attack is to flood its target machine with too much traffic and prevent it from being accessible to any other request or providing services to prevent denial of service attacks firewall can be configured as a relay in this approach the firewall responds on behalf of the internal host during the attack the firewall responds to the sin sent by the attacker since the ack never arrives the firewall terminates the connection by keeping protocols and antivirus softwares up to date we can prevent to be the victims of denial of service a regular scanning of the machine is also necessary in order to detect any anomalous behavior what is brute forcing brute forcing is a mechanism which is used by an attacker to break the encryption of data by applying a set of various keys crypt analyst has a set of number of keys and applies them one by one to the encryption algorithm until he gets the right key how do you use RSA for both authentication and secrecy RSA is a public key encryption algorithm working on the mathematical concept that it is easy to find and multiply large prime numbers together but it is extremely difficult to factor their product for authentication one can encrypt the hash of the data with a private key this is known as digital signature for secrecy secrecy is achieved by encrypting the data with public key and decrypting with private key can you differentiate between encoding encryption and hashing encoding basically encoding is used to protect the integrity of data as it crosses through communication network it is primarily an insecure function because it is easily reversible encryption encryption is basically designed for confidentiality and data integrity and is reversible only if you have the appropriate key hashing with hashing the operation is one way that is non reversible it takes an input and returns a fixed size string which is called the hash value what are the requirements of a secured hash function a secured hash function has following requirements one the output generated by a hash function should be of a fixed length it should be very easy to find out a hash function for a given message the two different messages should not have the same hash value it is against the hash function property explain digital signature differentiate between physical and digital signature a digital signature is an electronic analog of a written signature the digital signature can be used to provide assurance that the claimed signatory signed the information they are used to detect the integrity of signed data following are the important differences between a physical and digital signature one physical signature is just writing on paper but digital signature includes crucial parameters of identification two physical signature can be copied but it is impossible to copy a digital signature three physical signature lack privacy but digital signature enables encryption and ensure 
privacy. What is the function of authentication header? Basically, authentication header protects IP header and provides the complete authenticity to the IP packets. Authentication header may work in two modes that is transport mode and tunnel mode. What happens in tunnel mode? In tunnel mode, authentication header protects the IP header using two IP header layers namely inner and outer. Inner IP header contains the source and destination addresses and the outer IP header contains the security gateway information. Explain SSL protocol. The SSL protocol also called as security socket layer protocol was originally developed by Netscape to ensure security of data transported and routed through HTTP, LDAP or POP3 application layers. SSL uses TCP as a communication layer to provide a reliable end-to-end -end secure and authenticated connection which protects internet users from various threats. SSL record protocol is used to ensure the data security and integrity. What is PIX firewall security? PIX also called as private internet exchange. It is a popular IP firewall and network address translation appliance. PIX firewall security is developed by Cisco Systems. It is used to protect your network with a stateful packet filtering firewall. What is a malware? Malware is a software program which is developed to destroy a computer system. These programs run in victim's computer without the knowledge of the victim. Different types of malware are viruses, worms, trojan horses, rootkits, key loggers, dialers, spyware, adware, etc. What are replay attacks? Give an example of replay attack. Replay attacks are the network attacks in which an attacker spies the conversation between the sender and receiver and takes the authenticated information. In replay attack, the attacker provides a proof of his identity and authenticity. If you have to encrypt as well as compress the data during transmission, then which one would you do first and why? Data should be transmitted over any communication network in such a way that the data integrity and authenticity is maintained. To do this, we first compress the data and then encrypt it. If you encrypt the data first, you will have nothing but random data to work with, which will destroy any potential benefits of compression. What are the goals of information security in an organization? Mainly, there are three information security goals in an organization. One, confidentiality. Two, integrity. And third, availability. What is symmetric key cryptography? and asymmetric key cryptography. Symmetric key cryptography uses a single key for both encryption and decryption. Encryption and decryption algorithms are inverse of each other. Asymmetric key cryptography is also called as public key cryptography. In public key cryptography, two keys are there, a private key and a public key. Encryption is done through the public key and decryption through private key. Receiver creates both the keys and is responsible for distributing its public key to the communication community. Explain the classes of IP address. IP addresses are organized into classes. For convenience of human beings, IP addresses are expressed in the decimal format. Every number in each class is represented as binary to computers. The four numbers in an IP address are known as octets. Each of them has 8-bit positions. The octets are divided into two sections, net and host. The first octet represents net for identifying the network and the host contains the last octet. There are five IP classes. Class A. The class A is used for very large networks. There are 1 to 126 parts of this class. That means there are 126 class A networks. Class A networks account for half of the total available IP addresses. Class B. It is used for medium-sized network. The IP address with the first octet from 128 to 191 is part of this class. Class B networks have a first bit value of 1 and second bit value of 
zero in the first octet. Class C. Class C is used for small to middle size networks. IP address with the first octet starts from 192 to 223. Class C networks have a first bit value of 1, second bit value of 1, and a third bit value of 0 in the first octet. Class D. It has first, second, and third bit value as 1, and the fourth bit as 0. The other 28 bits are used for identifying the group of computers which is intended for multicast messages. Class E. Class E is used for identification purpose. The 4 bits value is 1. The other 28 bits are used for identifying the group of computers which is intended for multicast messages. What is unicast? Unicast is a term used in communication to describe a piece of information to send from one point to another. There is only one sender and receiver. All LANs support unicast transfer mode and most applications that employ TCP transport protocol use unicast messaging. Explain broadcast. Broadcast is a term used for describing communication that is sent as a piece of information from one point to all other points. There is one sender and multiple receivers. All LANs support broadcast transmission. Define subnetting. A subnet describes a set of networked computers which have common IP address routing prefix. Breaking the network into smaller and more efficient subnets is known as subnetting. It prevents Ethernet packet collision which usually occurs in large networks. Routers are used to manage the traffic and constitute borders among subnets. What is the domain name system? What are its advantages? It is a hierarchical naming system for computer systems, services or any resource on the internet. DNS translates the names of domains meaningful to humans into binary identifiers that are associated with the equipment of network to locate and address these devices. Advantages of DNS are 1. Reliability as it delivers messages to the users with zero downtime. 2. Speed. DNS are connected well at intersections of internet. Any cast technology enabled requests are answered by the next closest node in the case of maintenance or downtime. 3. Smartness. Automatic corrections of typos takes place. What is TTL? Why is it required? TTL is a short form of time to live. The TTL value is set by a system default value. It is an 8-bit binary digit field in the header of the packet. It specifies certain time limit in seconds for transmitting the packet header. When the time is exhausted, the packet would be discarded. Each router receives the subtract count when the packet is discarded. And when it becomes zero, the router detects the discarded packets and sends a message. Explain the use of ICMP. ICMP, also called as Internet Control Message Protocol, is one of the most important protocols in the Internet Protocol suit. It is mainly used in operating system of networked computers for the purpose of sending error messages. For example, if a requested service is unavailable or the host could not be reached, it is not directed by the network applications. ICMPs are utilized by routers, hosts for communicating the updates or error information to other routers. What is the use of IGMP? IGMP means Internet Group Management Protocol. It allows internet hosts to participate in multicasting. The IGMP messages are used to learn which host is part of which multicast group? The mechanism allows a host to inform its local router that it wants to receive messages. What are ping and tracet? Ping and tracet are the commands used to send receive information to some remote computers. Information is sent and received in packets. Ping is particularly used to check if the system is in network or not. It also gives packet lost information. Tracet is also called as traceroute. It is used to track or trace the path of the packet 
which it takes from the computer where the command is given until the destination. Explain RSVP. How does it work? RSVP, also called as Resource Reservation Protocol, is used to reserve resources across a network. It is used to request a specific quality of service from the network. This is done by carrying the request of the host throughout the network. It visits each node in the network. RSVP uses two local modules for reservation of resources. Admission Control Module and Policy Module Admission Control Module confirms if there are sufficient available resources while Policy Module checks for the permission of making a reservation. RSVP offers scalability. On successful completion of both checks, RSVP uses the Packet Classifier and Packet Scheduler for the desired quality of service requested. Explain the concept of DHCP. DHCP, which is a short form of Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is used to assign IP addresses to computers in a network. The IP addresses are assigned dynamically. With DHCP, the computer will have a different IP address every time it is connected to the network. In some cases, the IP address might change even when the computer is in network. This means that DHCP leases out the IP address to the computer for some time. What are the differences between a domain and a work group? In a domain, one or more computer can be a server to manage the network. On the other hand, in a work group, all computers are peers having no control on each other. In a domain, user doesn't need an account to log on to a specific computer if an account is available on the domain. While in a work group, user needs to have an account for every computer. In a domain, computers can be on different local networks. While in a work group, all computers need to be a part of the same local network. Explain how NAT, N-A-T works. NAT, which is a short form of Network Address Translation translates an IP address used in a network to another IP address known within the another network. NAT can be statically defined or dynamically translated from a pool of addresses. The NAT router is responsible for translating traffic coming from and leaving the network. It prevents malicious activity initiated by outside hosts from reaching the local hosts. This is done by being dependent on a machine on the local network to initiate any connection to host on the other side of the router.